welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing. I have the Platinum 3776 in the Chai Latte. I have been anxiously awaiting this particular pen. So I'm gonna not hesitate. I'm going to go ahead and do this unboxing. As you can see, is the black outer sleeve and underneath is a very nice Platinum Japan 1919 box. And inside is the, put that down, user manual as normal. And you know, we're not playing around, we're gonna get right into this. Here's the pen. First it comes with a cartridge, um, and a cartridge and a converter, and also with a mixable ink. This is a brown ink by Platinum. I have not tested it at all, but it is a beautiful bottle. Like it kind of reminds me um, of the Orochizuku bottles. Yes, it's a different shape. It's much smaller, but the glass itself reminds me of those, and I just love the looks of the look of those bottles. And now for the pen. Let's see. So this is a tan and white. It's more like an off-white. Let's get this clip off. And this is the shape of heart, the platinum 3776 in the shape of heart. It has rose gold trim. It has a 14 karat gold, rose gold nib. And this is in a medium. Um, the color, when, I, when this first came out, when I just saw the color, I was just amazed and was so excited. Um, I think if I could create my own, I would create the entire pen in this tan color. I would call it more of a taupe. It's a very, very pale taupe to me. Um, here, the finial are the little hearts and what, I guess it's supposed to look like a crystal. It's supposed to look like crystals. Um, but it's a lovely pen. Now, what I do want to discuss, let's see, and do you cap, excuse me, post. Um, I do, when I use my 3776, I do post it because it's so light and it's not back weighted. It's not back heavy for me. Um, but I do have some thoughts on this pen and I want to compare it to a few others. So, so this is supposed to be a resin material, resin being like a high end plastic, I guess. Um, and the grip as well. The grip does not have this matte finish. It's a little bit more sleek. Um, what am I trying to say? The matte finish, it says this is blasted matte finish. It is different than say, in my mind, the matte on my Pilot Vanishing Point. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's because there's not much weight to this. I'm really not sure. But if I'm being 100% transparent, y'all, I must say I was a little disappointed. Looking at this pen, I am just in awe because I love the 3776 and this colorway is just gorgeous. I, I love it, okay? I love this tannish top color and it's looking pretty light on camera, but it is a distinct difference. I love the pink gold trim with it. Um, I love the pink gold nib. It is just so, so light and the feeling, it just does. Personally, it does not feel as high end as I had anticipated it would feel. Just being honest. 
I'm here to give you my honest, honest opinion. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it needs more weight. I don't know if I, when I compare this to, let's get my, okay, this is my 3776 in uh, Tortoise. This actually looks a little bit, the body is a little bit bigger. If I were to compare the two, let's see. Yeah. The body is actually a little bigger. Um, I don't have a scale, but I do, I think that there's just, just the slightest bit more weight. I mean like milligrams. Um, but I think the difference for me is this lacquered finish. And don't get me wrong, I like a matte uh, feel. I love a matte feel, uh, the feel of a, I can't get my words out, the matte feel in the body of a pen, like my Esther Brooke here. This, now this one really feels matte, and I adore it, okay? I, ooh, I love the feel of this pen. Um, so when I got this one, as soon as I took it off the box, I guess I was anticipating this feel, which this mat is even more matte than this one. So if I had to go in order of the, I guess, more tactile feel, it would be in this order. To me, I don't, to me, this just feels like plastic. And this one literally feels matte. So let's compare two plastic resin pens. All right, so here is my Sailor Pro gear. Uh, this is the white and pink gold. It's called uh, pink gold, I believe. Um, although it's rose gold, it's the same thing. And I'm assuming it's just because this still has that shiny kind of, I don't know if lacquered is the correct word to use, but that's the word I'm gonna use today. Um, it has that lacquered feel a little bit where this one doesn't. Now, just because it doesn't, have a lacquered feel to me does not make it matte. To me, it just does not feel like it is worth the price point. It just doesn't. Um, and, I, and I really hate it. I, I really had a serious level of disappointment when I pulled this out the box. Um, ooh, it matches my bracelet. When I pulled this out the bro uh, box and, and I held it, I'm sure it will write beautifully. I have not written with it yet, simply because I'm contemplating if I want to keep it. And I, if I sell it, I want to sell it as is, um, without it having been inked up. Um, if you have a platinum pen, you know that they do write beautifully. They have just the slightest bit of feedback to them. Um, but that's why I'm not doing a writing sample today. I really wanted to get on and talk about the actual body of the pen. So I know it's not supposed to look like the Sailor. It's not supposed to have the shinier finish that the Sailor has. I get it. It's supposed to be matte. I get it. Um, it's Gosh, it's so, so freaking pretty. Um, but I think I just can't, I can't get out my head that it doesn't feel the way I anticipated it should feel. I'm sure it's going to write beautifully. It looks beautiful, but if I'm comparing, do I feel a lot of difference? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, to me, this feels really, really basic. Um, so yeah, I'm still on the fence if I want to retain this particular one. Um, I have not heard this review from anyone else. So that's why I feel like I'm probably going to be out on an island, uh, when I look at other reviews, but that's okay. That's okay. Because if I opt 
not to keep it, then that just means it will be well loved by someone else. So yeah, that's really it guys. I just wanted to come online and share my experience with this pen. Um, gosh, again, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm kind of leaning to selling it and using my money towards something that I'm just going to be a hundred percent happy with and look forward to picking up and look forward to using. I could very well change my mind because I'm literally just kind of holding it like, okay, let's, let's just see. If it wasn't for the price point, I would be ecstatic over this pen to be a hundred percent honest with you. It's the price point that I'm having a problem with. I must have just had my head in the clouds and um, I'm just a little picky, but that's okay. Um, but in this particular hobby, you want what you want and you want to be happy. And the good thing is if you're not happy with something, then you can always return it or rehome it um, and just get to the point where you are happy with it. And that's the good thing about it. So I would love to hear other people's opinions. It's okay if you disagree with me. It is 100% okay if you disagree. That's why we're here to talk about it. And um, yeah, let me guys know what you think. If you already have it, um, if this feels the way you anticipated that it would feel, um, that's fine. But let me know. It's okay if I'm in the minority. Um, but yeah, let me know and I will talk to you guys later.